when I was 19 year old, one question came to my mind one day, where I want to see myself 10 years from now. And this question changed my life. Because I thought about it, I worked on it persistently, and that's how we could build Biotechnica. So this is my favorite question. And today, I want to change your life. Because I want to tell you the same thing, I want to urge you to think about the same thing. Today, let us ask this question. But for bioinformatics. Where would bioinformatics field be in the next 10 years? What will be the future scope of bioinformatics? Should you even pursue bioinformatics as a career? So to answer all those questions, we have to get started. Let's get started, guys. Now, in all my videos, I've always insisted that you have to stand at the boundary of arts, science, and commerce to achieve success in life. It's not just you pursue one thing. Similarly, this subject, bioinformatics, is one such field that stands at the boundary of biosciences and information technology. This overlap gives you a tremendous advantage over all others because if one field grows this field will also grow and that's why it's a golden opportunity for all of you now today let me give you 10 pointers which will help you decide what will be the future of bioinformatics how it will look like in the next 10 years right so starting with number one pharmacology and CADD computer aided drug design so you already know what is pharmacology? As we all know, bioinformatics accelerates drug, drug discovery, drug target identification as well as validation. It also facilitates the characterization of side effects and it helps us predict drug resistance. In fact, it is also used in the development of biomarkers, toxigenomic and pharmacogenomic. Both the tools are used to maximize the therapeutic benefit of drugs. Now, in the next 10 years, you will see quantum computing growing, quantum computing growing in exponentially, and that will help tremendously. That will have a tremendous impact on CADD, drug discovery process, and of course, bioinformatics. So this field is slated to grow on the shoulders of these fields. Number two. Proteomics. Now again, proteomics, as you know, we all know this, proteomics is the extensive study of proteins. It covers new scientific studies and research on proteomes from the complete level of intracellular protein profiles. It helps us identify distinct protein patterns interaction protein protein interaction protein activities protein structures and bioinformatic tools are help, are used in collecting and organizing and analyzing these protein sequences it also helps us in the characterization of proteins and their interactions this process is involved this process of uh, proteomics is heavily dependent on bioinformatics and that means the application of proteomics, as it will expand, bioinformatics will also expand in its utility. So again, bioinformatics is riding on the shoulder of proteomics also. So the scope is huge. Number three, centralized data analysis. Now, I'm sure you have heard of this term. Bioinformatics provides central globally accessible databases. Okay, that enables several scientists to submit, search, and analyze information. Bioinformatics is even super essential for the analysis of data in modern biology, as well as medicine. And this global collaboration which is going on to, is going to grow by leaps and bounds. In the next decade, definitely it is going to grow. So, learning bioinformatics at this point, at this stage, 
will definitely put you on the international road map of collaboration right so it makes sense again so these are the three pointers i gave you now move on to the fourth one gene therapy cancer bioinformatics okay so cancer is one big research area gene therapy is a method employed to prevent cure and treat diseases by altering the person's gene expression right we know gene therapy bioinformatics can be applied to diseases such as cancer okay and that is where cancer bioinformatics comes in it deals with the organizing and analyzing data so that important patterns of trends can be identified and that to globally right specific gene or protein targets which can you know which can be used to target cancer cells also can be identified and we all know how many global companies are investing in cancer research today and being an internationally acclaimed bioinformatician you can get job get a job in cancer research companies as a cancer bioinformatician so again you'll ride on the shoulders of cancer research number 5 precision medicine now precision medicine medicine we know that bioinformatics is used here as well to analyze data from gene sequencing or microarray uh, gene expression analysis okay in search of mutations or gene variants that can affect patients in multiple ways right and uh, we also study the response to a particular drug or how it modifies the disease prognosis we all know precision medicine is the future of medicine and that means you can play a huge role in this field as well as a bioinformatician because precision medicine is still in its infancy bahut chota hai it's very small any field which is in its infancy has high chances of growth so bioinformatics will again ride on the shoulders of precision medicine number 6 agriculture bioinformatics now the world as we know it today okay so the population is growing exponentially growing so is the demand for food crops now in the future there will be need for more pest resistant and drought tolerant crops as a bioinformatician you can play a huge role here in collection and storage of plant genetic resources using various bioinformatic tools you can use these these to manufacture stronger disease and insect resistant stress tolerant crops and it is also it can be used in the comparative genetics of models and non model plant species to discover organization of genes with, with respect to each other so i believe agri bioinformatics is the most exciting field according to me here you can grow leap and bounds to the future i think this is something which you should seriously consider number 7 systems biology plus bioinformatics both hand in hand okay systems biology we know that seeks to understand how cells tissues organisms function okay from the perspective of the system as a whole so how it is actually working and then computational system biologists come into picture they use mathematical modeling they use mathematical simulation they use statistical analysis to gain fundamental understanding of how this system works how the biological process works such as maintenance of homeostasis minimal requirements required for any function or system response to environmental stress in environmental disturbance perturbation predicting response to system stressors and dissecting proteins and nucleic acid networks everything is studied under systems biology implementation of bioinformatic tools and techniques will help the system biology use the computer models to achieve faster results and it will also help to validate these predictions right so that is why i said it will go hand in hand so if systems biology grows bioinformatics will also grow number 8 genetics and genomics now we all know that genetics is the study of dna based inheritance right so of course this is how genes are transferred and variation of uh, individuals based on genomics right now genomics is the study of structure and 
function of the genome. Now both apply bioinformatics and computational techniques to generate data from DNA and RNA sequencing. Microarrays, proteomics, electron microscopy, or optical methods for uh, nucleic acid structure determination. Now that all this can be done under bioinformatics. Now this is a lot of research. There's, there is a lot of research going on in gen genomics and genetics to treat diseases. We know that, right? Elimination of uh, chances of mutation or alleviate mortality altogether from humanity that we don't die ever. And with the help of modern bioinformatic tools, we can accelerate this process. We can accelerate the process of identification, manipulation and prediction of desired results. Right? So that is where bioinformatics comes into picture. Again, it will ride on this shoulder. Number nine, immunoinformatics and vaccine discovery. Okay. So bioinformatics can be used here as well. Now these methods of bioinformatics can be used to study host pathogen interactions. Also, it can be used to assign functions to uncharacterized genes, which can be targeted as candidates in vaccine design. Now, with the advent of coronavirus pandemic and the awareness around it and the research dollar which is going into these researches against viruses in the recent years, which will lead to growth of immunoinformatics, vaccine design and development, and this will lead to further exponential growth of the bioinformatics field as well. So you are going to ride on the shoulders of vaccine sciences also, vaccinology also. Number 10, neuroinformatics. Okay, new name, but very important. Neuroinformatics is a field involved in creating and maintaining web-based accessible database of experimental and computational data and innovative software tools okay which is essential for understanding the nervous system in its normal function and then comparing it during a neurological disorder that's what is neuro neuroinformatics now neuroinformatics experimental databases store function and anatomy annotations of nervous system okay or nervous system genes okay and these are acquired through different methods different methods such as structural and functional uh, magnetic resonance okay mri as well as uh, fmri now these this is a nascent field again okay and we'll see it growing in the coming years right and like i have said if it is a nascent field it is going to grow and you will ride on the growth point. Now I have a bonus point also. Industrial biocatalysis. Now this is an industrial application of bioinformatics. One of the key focuses during a inter industrial biocatalysis is biocatalyst. Now that is us usually what? A kind of a, microbial a microbial enzyme. Now new technologies of bioinformatics have played and will in fact continue to play much and much significant roles in the industrial biocatalyst research responses. Okay, in the waves of genomic revolution, you will see all this is happening. One of the key application of bioinformatics in biocatalysis is discovering and identifying new biocatalysts through advanced DNA and protein sequence. Now that can involve search, comparison and analysis of internet databases using different algorithms and softwares. So these are all hardcore bioinformatics things which will help you grow. So th there you have it. I give you 11 pointers. I told you 10, I gave you 11 pointers today to predict the exponential growth of bioinformatics as a field and justify to you why you as a student must learn the basics of bioinformatics today. And to help you do just that, we have, Biotechnica has a wide array of bioinformatics certification courses, online live internships, which can be availed from home. Sit at home and attend these classes. All you need to do is click on the link given in the description and you will get complete access to all the resources needed 
to grow along with this field. Even if you're from any other field also, knowing basics is very important because it's a computational tool, right? And this is how we end this video. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you again in the next one. Kindly comment below if you have any questions and we will try our best to answer all of them as soon as possible. So see you soon in our next video. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.